guys. Saturday morning, I just had an awesome ride in here. And uh, I think I'm going to take a few minutes today, later on, and I'm gonna stick my foot right in a giant pile of crap. I definitely think I'm gonna step in a giant pile of shit with this one. Almost time to stick my foot in this big stinky shit pile. Okay, it's time to stick my foot in a great big old stinky pile of poo and cover should you or should you not go to college. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna have two answers to this. I'm gonna have an answer of why I think you should, you should not, but at the end of the day, understand that this is a personal decision that everyone needs to make based on themselves, okay? What I mean by that is you need to be able to think objectively about you and what you want and what you want to do and you need to make the decision for yourself as to whether or not you need to go to college. No one needs to make it for you. Not your parents, not your friends, not anyone else, okay? That decision is on you and whether you succeed or fail, going to college or not going to college will ultimately be on you. So, let's start with the fact that I have a college degree. Let's also cover the fact that the vast majority of the income that I make is not made doing anything that has anything to do with that college degree, okay? I have a college degree in English and literature. Now, I have written a book. The vast majority of my money comes from selling motorcycles, dealing with motorcycles, things of that nature, okay? Vast majority of it. So, I don't have a college degree in motorcycles. What I have in motorcycles is I have a crap ton of experience, okay? I've been doing this for 10 years, and I started at the very, very bottom, and I worked my way up the chain, and I learned, and I grew, and I became very good at this, at what I do, which is motorcycles and ATVs and side-by-sides, but mostly motorcycles, okay? So, that brings me to my two points. Here's what this is all gonna boil down to. Now, and let me cover first, if you're in your late teens or early 20s and you are, you have no idea what you wanna do in this world, you really have two options. What I would really recommend, if you're in your late teens, you're graduating high school, I would, you have no idea whatsoever what you wanna do. I would at least take a year off between high school and college, work some jobs, get out there in the world a little bit. If you can travel a little bit, do that. Just get some world and some life experience and see if that helps you find what you wanna do, okay? At that point, if you still have no idea what you want to do, if you want to go take a couple of semesters of some basic school stuff to maybe help you figure out what you want to do, then by all means go for it, okay? Now, here's what this is going to boil down to. If you are late teens, early 20s, something like that, I just mentioned you need to figure out what you want to do because it's going to be paramountly important to whether or not you should or should not go to college. You need to figure out who you are, what makes you the happiest, and what kind of careers or what you can do to make a living doing that because you will be a way happier person and you'll be far more successful if you can do something that you're happy doing. Do not go to college to get a job that you're gonna to go to every day and hate going to. If you have to drag yourself to work every day, you're doing it wrong, okay? So here's the thing. If you already know exactly what you wanna do and it is anything creative or business related or anything abstract whatsoever, don't go to college. Don't go to college. Get out there in the world and start doing things in those fields, okay? If it's creative, get out there and work for somebody in whatever the creative industry is or intern for someone, do something like that. While you're still living at home, get some internships, get some really low level jobs in those areas. If you wanna go into business, get an internship or start working in whatever business you wanna go into. Start at the very bottom and learn the business and get the experience. Because I can tell you from my own personal hiring and from a lot of the different jobs that I've had and everything now and all the friends that I have that are auditioning for and getting jobs, what matters more than anything else in a lot of fields now is actually experience, your ability to do the job, what you know. In a lot of fields now, that college degree has become a piece of paper that just tells them that you have a little bit of responsibility and the ability to learn things. But in a lot of fields, what matters more than anything else now is experience, energy and drive. So if you wanna be creative, you wanna go into a lot of different businesses, okay? If your passion is food, then get a baseline job at a restaurant and work your way up. And if you're gonna be a crazy, crazy, crazy chef, then yeah, eventually go to a culinary school, something like that. But if you're into film, you need to gather and start filming things. You need to gather and start working on that, and you need to see if you can intern with someone or assist someone or do something involved in that. If you like animation, if you like drawing, if you like writing, if you like anything creative whatsoever, if you're a graphic designer, start designing graphics. Get on Fiverr 
and start doing really cheap graphic design work for people. Build a name for yourself and build the experience and the reps in that industry, okay? Anything like that. Just get into that industry at the very bottom, learn it, work your way up. I started doing this as a base, 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 baseline salesman. I had no freaking idea what was going on. And it took me a little while to learn it. And I had to eat ramen noodles for a little while, but I worked my way up there, okay? And now I know what's going on. Here's the flip side of that. If your passion is gonna be anything in an extremely technical field, then I absolutely believe that you should go to school for that. If you wanna be anything medical, anything in engineering, biochemistry, anything crazy technical, if you wanna be anything in what I would call a scientific field, then yes, if that is actually your passion and that is what you wanna do with your life, and you absolutely should get yourself into a good school for that field. Now, if you can get a full ride scholarship, get a full ride scholarship, that is beautiful. If you can't get a full ride scholarship, you need to knuckle down and work as much as you can while you're in school so you have as little debt coming out of it as possible. Understand that, have as little debt coming out of school as possible if you go to school because it'll give you a huge head start. It's not gonna do you very much good if you come out of school in an awesome field that you love and you're $300,000, $400,000 in student loan debt. Then you're gonna spend 10 years digging yourself back out of there, okay? I know it sucks a little bit. You'd much rather go party and drink your ass off. But if you are going to go to college, work your ass off while you're at school. If you are not going into a super technical field, if you are going into anything creative, or any kind of business, if your passion is anything that is not scientific or technical, don't bother going to school, go to work, have passion and drive and learn your craft from the bottom up, become a master in your field and make it happen. And for God's sakes, if you're an entrepreneurial spirit, start businesses, just get started, get started, do something. If you have no idea, coming out of high school, what you want to do, take a year or more off between work some jobs and find what you want to do. Please find what you want to do. Don't waste your time on doing something that your parents or somebody else told you was going to be a good job that you don't have passion for. Find your passion and then figure out whether your passion requires you to go to college because a lot of them don't. A lot of them require experience or if your passion is something crazy technical or scientific where yes, you need to go to college. If you wanna be a brain surgeon, go to college, okay? If you wanna be an artist, don't bother going to college. Just get started, be creative, okay? That's all I got for you. Let the hate comments flow. I love you guys, peace. <laughs>